but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Welcome, everybody, to the Countdown to First Serve show, Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School. And this is October 17th, a date a lot of folks have been looking forward to for a long time. Kristen Goodman is the head coach of the Bulldogs, and she authored one of the the great upsets that we've had in a long time. Ridge Point does not lose very often, but the first time around in district play, your team won. What made the difference in that one? Well, it actually depends on who you ask. If you ask some Ridge Point fans, they might say something else. Um, but we have been talking the whole season about our goal, and one of them was to um, upset Ridge Point. Um, this team is different than any team I've coached in a long time. Um, their chemistry is something that's unmatched. Um, they play with a ton of heart. There's no drama. Um, and it's just a goal that we set. We came in focused and determined. Um, we had already upset George Ranch for the first time in years. Um, and so I knew that it was that they were capable of doing so. Um, and I think they surprised themselves, too, of how hard they fought. Um, but we just played a great match. And I think we surprised the whole city of Houston uh, when that happened. Yes, I was at a football stadium on a Friday night, and I felt the earth move. I didn't know what it was. And then I found out later it was Austin beat Ridgepoint mm -hmm. on the volleyball court in peaceful, bucolic Pheasant Creek. So um, let me ask you about this. I mean, we know the old adage, nobody's ever staying the same. You're either getting worse or you're getting better, and I'm sure you would tell me that your team has gotten better since then. What are you doing better than you were the last time you played the Panthers? Um, well, we had a starter out that night. She'd actually got concussed against Travis. So we have our starter back. We have our full rotation. Um, but we've just been upping our game, running different plays. Um, you know, we always, we have Adele Murray, who's one of the best middles, I would say, in the state. Um, and we're very blessed to have her. But everybody expects the ball to go to her. So what we've been challenging my other offensive players is to be more involved. The setter, um, we have an amazing freshman setter. And I'm just encouraging her to set the ball more evenly to other players so that we're not just set on setting. Adele um, and so that's been really challenging to her and other players to kind of get the light shown on them a little bit more but um, that's definitely one thing that we've been improving on and and what's the name of the no longer concussed player um, her name's Maybelline Garcia she's a right side um, she's a junior first year letterman um, and she's just kind of like a little pit bull like I guess I should say a bulldog um, but she goes after the ball and is tiny I mean like five six maybe but she can jump and she's just she never lets the ball drop so um, we definitely missed her that night but I had some great other kids step in uh, but she's a difference maker for sure and I think two years ago in girls basketball at Austin 
You had a transformative freshman in the program. Mm -hmm. You have kind of a possibly transformative freshman on your team on varsity this year. And tell us all about her. Yeah, so Tinsley Walker um, is our freshman setter. She's running a 5-1. Um, tonight is actually going to be the game where she gets her 1,000th a thousandth assist of the year. We have a little countdown poster for her. Um, she's phenomenal. I actually challenged her when we were in New Braunfels early in the season um, to set out of the middle. I had saw a girl um, at state maybe four years ago set out of the middle, um, and so we and we needed Adele on the court the whole time. So we changed our rotation, and I challenged Tinsley. You're going to have to block. You're going to have to be a middle blocker, but you're also going to have to set the second ball. And she has stepped up, and she has. Proved me, approved to me and everybody else, like what an elite player she was at 14 years old. Like she doesn't even turn 15 until the end of December. So she's running our court and, um, you know, we were actually blessed by Fort Bend ISD because they moved the line that she was supposed to go to Travis. And so we found out in January we were getting her. I had kind of already planned, you know, a lineup in my head in January. Um, who am I kidding? I did it in October at the end of our season <laughs> last year. Um, but she is just a missing piece that, that the team is all accepted too. Even our seniors who are their setters, they know that she should be the one running the court and she does a phenomenal job. Now, as far as what's at stake, the winner of this match in all likelihood will be the number one seed going into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. But the loser of this match is going to be in the playoffs, almost certainly. I don't think there's any way you could miss it mm -hmm. well, no, for either team. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've pretty much secured one and two with our win against Travis um, on Friday night. Um, George Ranch is a solid three seed. Um, and we're just looking forward. Our goal is to play in November. The first round is October 30th or 31st, and we want to play in November. We have not made it past the first round since 2016 and so that's one of our big goals that we are fighting for um, and and honestly we're very blessed to be one or two coming from last year being a four seed um, but of course that number one will just feel that much better last question and it may not even be a question it may just be an observation you can react if you want um, I love senior nights I can watch it no matter what school it is I promise you and I see the kids and the proud parents and you know it's the end of a long road and so many ups and downs but it's been rewarding for just about everybody mm -hmm. i i get misty when i see these things mm -hmm. ridgepoint fans are going to cry when they go through that pre-match ceremony mm -hmm. but if your team wins tonight there will be more crying at the end because they they will say the bulldogs beat us twice mm -hmm. have you thought about that um, I definitely have. Um, actually, I enjoy senior nights too a lot. Plus, I've watched these girls. I've played against them for four years because my seniors came in as freshmen my first year here. Um, so I've kind of watched these, you know, Rich Point seniors grow up. But um, I mean, that's our goal. I feel it's kind of funny when we're walking in on senior night where it's a very emotional night. And so maybe that'll work to our advantage. Maybe not. Um, but I'm just excited because I know it's going to be just a really, really good game tonight. All right. Well, I hope we're here a long, long time. I would love to see a five-setter. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Um, I, I mean, we've already hit it twice this year with Travis. and Oh, just kidding, three times with Travis, Elkins, and Ridgepoint. Um, but five sets are always fun. I mean, my blood pressure wouldn't like it. Um, and I have a meeting at 630 in the morning, so I would rather not. <laughs> well, I better let you go then. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'm excited. Thank you. I'm excited, too. I, I think we're both very excited. <laughs> And the people in this gym are excited. Mm -hmm. We'll be back and we'll talk. Uh, we'll get rebuttal from Coach Lauren Bailey when we return on the Countdown to First, first Serve show. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. 
Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vibe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vibe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vibe Campus today. We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass and an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics, but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout... Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back to the Countdown to First Serve show. It is a jam-packed gym on the hard scrabble streets of Siena. First of all, it's senior night for the Ridgepoint Panther Volleyball Girls, and it's also the rematch with Austin, and it's time to talk with Coach Lauren Bailey of the Panthers, and I'm sure she will keep this all in perspective. So that said, because you're good at putting things in perspective, I know you've been thinking about tonight since the last time you played Austin. Am I correct in assuming that? You are correct, yes. Yeah, um, that was a great game. Not sure who was able to catch it. We went to five, um, and it was just a great match. It was one of those matches where it was like, this is great volleyball. And so you couldn't really be upset about it, but we definitely have things that we could have improved on, and hopefully we're able to make those adjustments tonight to where we can take home the win. It was at on a Friday night. I was at a football stadium, and I felt the earth move. And I didn't know what it was. And then I found out later that's what it was. Um, now, I know Kennedy Rogers was taking a college visit that, that weekend, and she was not playing. Was there anybody else on your team that was not available to you? No, I think that was it. Yeah, just Kennedy not there, which, you know, she's a huge part of this team. So hopefully having her here tonight makes, makes a difference. Now, Adele Murray of Austin gets a lot of attention, and it's richly deserved. She's a great player. Is she the most important person that you, uh, I guess you got to keep her from hurting you real bad during the match? Yeah, Adele's really great. Um, I'm super, super happy for her and all of her accomplishments. 
Yeah, I would say that first and foremost, we need to shut her down in the middle, take her out of the equation as much as possible. And we also need to limit um, their freshman setter, Kinsley, I believe is her name. Um, she is phenomenal. She's only a freshman, which is great for Austin. And so we need to limit how many times we're able to, sorry, we need to limit keeping them in system so that way Kinsley isn't able to run her offense. Well, let's look back to the 2020 year when George Ranch beat you the first time around on this court. Mm -hmm. And then on election night, you got back at them. It was a thriller, a five setter, and it went beyond, well, I guess you won it in the regulation 15 points. I don't think it went past, you know, deuce and so forth. But does going through that particular experience help you tonight? Um. I mean, you personally, because yeah. uh, not many of the girls were are still here who were there then. <clears throat> exactly. Uh, the only two girls that were a part of that were Lauren Battle and I believe Carrington Cook. So most of the girls aren't aware of that situation. Um, but it is kind of the same. You know, we had to play uh, George Ranch that play-in match to see who would get first or second in the district. Whereas here tonight, if we're able to lock this win down um, will will seal first place because they have two losses. So we have more of a sense of urgency to win this game because if we lose, then we're back tied for first and we'll have to do that again. So there's a real sense of urgency to win this game tonight and not let any of our mental mistakes get in the way of that. Okay, so I've kind of been billing this as a match that very likely will determine the district champion. And I guess now... I realize I've kind of messed my history up a little bit because it was a split with George Ranch in 21 and you had to do the playoff with them. Was that 21? Well, yeah. Um, no, that was 20. That was COVID year. Um, but you're, we did go to a five set. They came here and swept us. They're our first time seeing them. They won in three. It was really embarrassing. Um, and then we went to them and had another five set thriller, which was phenomenal, really great. But because of that, the five set thriller you're talking about was played at either Wheeler or Hobson. Yeah, and that year you had to play a third match and yes. it was at, and I think it was more recent than 2020, right? So maybe you finished the regular season with the same record as George Ranch and you played it off at Hobson. Yes, that's correct. And we ended up winning that and sealing first place going into playoffs. Here, it's a little bit different tonight. If we win tonight, we're, we're done. We don't need to worry about that, um, which most, most coaches don't want to play play-in matches because then you just run the risk of injury and all of that going into playoffs. So we really have a lot to um, to... We have a lot that we need to handle tonight, take, have business that we need to take care of. And I know it's senior night. It's already going to be a late start. It's exciting. We have 12 seniors, including our managers. But once senior night is over, we need to uh, lock in. And I want to thank you for putting all the decorations down at the end where the fans walk in. That forces me to go down here, but I think that's where I should be because just to my right and in close proximity will be a bunch of football boys, and they will be getting a lot of uh, whatever they need to get out. They'll be getting it out. Yeah, our student section has been really great this year, bringing the energy um, for the most part, staying through all of our matches until the end. So we're thankful for that, and we're going to need it tonight against this Austin team. All right, Coach Bailey, always good to talk to you. Uh, is Mr. Bailey coming tonight? No, Mr. Bailey's on kid duty, as always. They're asleep by 7.15, so. Well, the last time I came, he was here with the kids. He was babysitting them in the gym. He only lasted about 20 minutes. <laughs> and then the kids, it's, it's loud for them. They want to run and play. They don't know it's a game going on. So, yeah, we're, we're waiting a few more years to get them in the gym. Well, I didn't mean to take up so much of your time, but it's always fun. And we'll talk to you at playoff time, which is just about a week and a half away, I guess. Yes, it is. Um, going into playoffs, we'll play the Woodlands here on the 27th at 530 to get ready for what playoffs has to offer. And so that will really kick kickstart the playoff season. I was an original Highlander, so I might try to make my way here, but football might get in the way. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.
All right, we'll be back and we'll have the first serve because this is the end of the Countdown to First Serve show. Our coverage on VikeFortBend.com is brought to you by Xfinity, First Tyron Automotive, and Archer Volkswagen. We'll be right back. We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. All right, we continue getting everyone ready for the match between Ridgepoint and Austin. I think it's a good time to welcome in Leonard Brogan, the man, the principal of Ridgepoint. And I want to thank you and all the other principals in Fort Bend ISD and Lamar Consolidated ISD. It's a, it's a thankless job because if you do it great, usually uh, you hear nothing. It's only when people complain. How was your day today? Well, we had a district meeting, and they let us out a little early. So, uh, it, yeah, it was good. And you're right. Nobody's normally calling you up telling you that you're doing a great job. They're calling you up with, uh, you know, a concern. But that's that's part of the job. So we understand. Well, one thing about a senior night such as this, there's such great pride in the building. I mean, you love seeing the kids who have been raised very well and their proud parents and, uh, you know, what they do as athletes, which is wonderful is on top of having to, you know, take care of the schoolwork and do all the other things that you have as growing up. So what are some of the things that you see every day that maybe people don't realize? Yeah, it's amazing. We've got a great group of seniors in, in, on our volleyball team, and, and senior night is always special. No matter what sport it happens to be, uh, it's always a fun time to, to celebrate these kids that have been out there giving it all for, for all four years and just trying so hard and, and making such a big difference to our school. And that's really it. I mean, in the hallways, our athletes are, are always leaders in, in, in the school. So, um, and the seniors especially, they, they let our, you know, they set the tone for our underclassmen and our freshmen as to how we really, really want, um, you know, the expectations that we have for our kids. So it's great that we can call on them and we can uh, use their leadership as examples of uh, what we want our Panthers uh, to be doing. So it's exciting and we're excited for them, always to see them. You know, signing days are always special too. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a lot of fun. You know, back when Ridgepoint got, was opened, you know, even uh, before you had arrived, they came up with the Credo Scholars and Champions. And it's not just talk. I mean, it really does mean what it says. And I think there is a culture that they've created at Ridgepoint and they've been able to maintain it where you are expected to perform in the classroom. How do, how do you make that keep going? I think it's just the expectations that our teachers that our teachers uh, set for our kids. Tomorrow, we're having our annual uh, AP Field of Dreams, where we celebrate our uh, advanced placement students who last year made either a four or a five on, their, on an AP exam. We have over 712 kids that are, will be recognized, but some of them are graduating seniors, so they won't be here. But they go out on the softball field. We have the inflatable panther. The drum line comes out. We have a couple of kids that talk, a couple of teachers that talk, and we just celebrate. They get a yard sign that says, I made a four or five. Some of those kids will be walking around with, you know, three, four, five of those signs. Uh, I did the math on it, and it, it, uh, it basically saves anywhere between a little over 800000 to about $1.2 million, depending upon what kind of school you'd go to, either a public university or a private university. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we set the expectations high with our kids that they're going to perform in the classroom. And our coaches do a great job of making sure students are knowing where they are along the line with their grades. And if they have to have, you know, study halls or tutorial sessions, they do. Uh, I, I, you know, at the end of school, for probably the last two, three weeks, our football team has been doing a study hall right at the end of school in the cafeteria. So they do that for, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes, and then they go out and practice. So 
uh, I really applaud our coaches for what they do to to, re- to help the kids stay on top of where they need to be. By the way, Mr. Brogan, I think you'd be a good broadcaster, especially if you're doing a, a baseball game and there's a rain delay because you understand what I'm needing here. You're giving me just what I need, which is, you know, getting some insights into campus life at Ridgepoint as we wait for the Panther girls to take on Austin. But I, I'll be honest with you, there's another reason I have you here. Pretty soon, the two teams are going to start practicing yeah. their serves. I got so you. hopefully we can protect ourselves and the equipment on I the got table you. I, here. I, 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 when I sat down to the side <laughs> of you, Roger, I thought, I'll, I'll watch out for him when they start serving. You know, I've got a uh, son who teaches over at, uh, at Austin. He's, uh, he's their water polo coach and assistant swim coach. So it's a bit of a rivalry game. He's watching it on uh, and listening to you uh, at home. But he's, uh, he's uh, excited for his team. But it's going to be a good matchup. This should be a fun game. By the way, I have some good news for you. And I'm sure that with all the things that you have to oversee as the Ridgepoint principal, you probably didn't get a chance to check on these things. All right. Well, first of all, let's, let's talk football. These same two schools are going to meet in football this week. And I've been checking that Dave Campbell's Texas football state ranking in Class 6A because Ridgepoint lost that first game to Westlake and then the next one to Dickinson. Well, they have gotten the attention of the people who vote in Dave Campbell's Texas football because they have cracked the top 25 in Class 6A. They're now at number 24. There are several teams in the top 25 they'll have to climb over. But that's okay, you know. Uh, what do you think about that in your football team, especially the way they played against Clements during the homecoming game? Yeah, they had a great game. I, I was so <laughs> there were so many people out there. I've never seen as many people in our student section. We normally have you know fill up one whole section. We had two full sections in the student section, and I think the, the I think the players fed off of that um, with that dominating win. And and you know when you really look at it, I know you you saw the Westlake and the Dickinson game. I mean we were in both those games uh, to the end, so. I think I think we can play with everybody. Anybody, Coach Lefavors has got the kids playing really, really well right now and peaking as we get ready, you know, in a couple of weeks for uh, for playoffs. So it should be an exciting run. It could be an exciting run for volleyball too. There's nothing more exciting than playoff volleyball. It's crazy. I can't wait to to you know get get out there and watch the matches in, in the playoffs because the intensity level is just ratcheted up way, way higher. And something that really gives us a lot of encouragement in Fort Bend County. Last year, Dripping Springs had never been in Class 6A before. They moved up into Class 6A and they won the state championship. And on their record, they had 14 losses. So you got Austin coming into this one. They are at 25 and 14. And Ridgepoint is at 28 and 13. So those losses, they could be in double figures. It does not matter. It only matters who is playing best when we get the playoffs going. So uh, that's got to be encouraging for the Panthers. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's true. You, you, it, you never know when you peak, you know, when you get when you get hot. And, and uh, I look forward to a long, deep run for our for our, our girls in volleyball. It, again, it's it's just so exciting. But there's a lot of good teams in our region. So but we can hang with any one of them. Yes. And I'm glad you mentioned that because I look at it and you've got Grand Oaks who is ranked number one, but we don't need to worry about them. They're in Region 2. They are 40-1 and one out of the Conroe ISD. Cy Ranch is ranked fourth. They're in Region 2. The only place we would see them in the playoffs is in Garland. That's the only way that would happen. But then you got Cinco Ranch, ranked number six, and they're going to be a very tough out, whoever plays them. The defending champions, Dripping Springs, are at number seven, and they're in Region 4. Won't see them for a while. Then you got Stratford, Dawson, Atascacita, Clear Springs, and Deer Park. The ranking people don't think too much of District 26A, but that's okay. You play the the matches on the court, right? Yes, sir. That is absolutely correct. And I wouldn't be surprised if we don't come in and uh, you know knock off a few people that are ranked higher than us. It's happened before. Uh, one other thing I was going to mention about the homecoming game. I know there are a lot of great candidates for king and for queen, but I'll say that whenever it's a football homecoming, I always want a football player to win it, and Cole Veon won it. So, uh, you know, I want to 
tell you the first time I remember seeing Cole Vaughn do something in athletics. I was coming in getting ready for a varsity basketball game. He was playing JV basketball. He went up for a rebound and he got two hands on it. Another opponent got two hands on it. And Cole simply shook the ball violently until the other person who was attached to it went flying. It was it was an impressive show of strength. I don't doubt that at all. Cole's a great kid. He's a leader in our school and uh yeah, it was it was cool him being announced as uh, as king, and our queen is also an athlete. She's a, a cross country runner, um, Labar. So yeah, we're we're proud of both of them. You know, my wife's uh, a, t- a PE teacher at Siena Crossing Elementary, which feeds into us. She's been there forever, so she's taught a lot of these athletes, kids, and she she taught Cole, and she said you know the same kind of thing as when he was in grade school. He was just a really really solid athlete and, and a great kid. By the way, really looking forward to the baseball season, as always, at Ridgepoint, and it's Michael Dutka. No one could be more deserving to get the head coaching position as he has taken over for the retired Clinton Welch, and I don't see any reason why Ridgepoint can't be just as good or better in baseball in 2024. What do you think? I'm with you 100%. Uh, Coach Dutka is, is, well, first of all, he's a great educator. Uh, and and I, I know he's 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 just going to be great as a, our head coach. Uh, I'm excited to see his team out there. Coach Welch, you know, is a legend in 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 high school baseball in Texas. It's tough to follow a legend, but I know that Coach uh, Coach Dutka will do just fine. We've got a good team coming back, and that's another sport that's really really exciting to watch in the playoffs. Exciting to watch all the time, but playoffs are even more exciting. So I'm looking forward to uh, a great season. That'll be here before we know it. Well, I said something to you before we started this interview, and it wasn't just to butter you up so you would come over here and help me fill the time. But I know that, you know, these these teenage student athletes, you know, they often will look into the stands and make sure mom or dad is there. And, you know, when both of them are there, that's fantastic. But I know a lot of them probably look for you and maybe look for other coaches in other sports. And you know, I can I can honestly say that there's no principal in any Fort Bend High School that goes to more games than you do, and I don't see any head football coach and boys campus athletic coordinator showing up as often as Rick LeFevre. So props to both of you. Uh, thank you very much. You know, it's the best part of my day coming out here and watching the kids uh, do whatever, you know, do it on the court, do it on the you know, on the field, in the in the in the theater, and you know, on the stage, whatever it happens to be. So, uh, we've got great kids, and it's exciting to see them really be creative and and have passion in whether it's athletics or fine arts or whatever they happen to have their passion in. So, um, it's exciting. It's it's a great, great and easy way to to end the day. Usually, and a fun way to kind of ease out of all the kind of you know things during a regular day that you have to that you have to handle. This is a a much easy way to see our kids shine absolutely and and one other observation and then i'll let you go um i have two lifelong loves i don't know which came first one of them is uh the first time i saw a uh, cat woman on batman i knew everything i i knew uh, which team i played on and and that's kind of been a lifelong uh, passion and then on the other hand when i was probably i don't know four or five years old i went to a high school football game for the first time and I just fell in love with high school athletics. I worshipped those athletes when I was about three feet tall, and I became one. I wasn't all that great, but I loved playing, loved being a part of the school. And even when I was in college, you know, I found a couple of buddies, and we would we would go to a Friday night football game out in Abilene. And now I've had sons who played high school sports. They have grown past that. But I just never get tired of watching these kids do what they do. It's fantastic. Great save, Principal Brogan. No problem. <laughs> it's serving time, so we got it. Well, get I think ready. Uh, I don't want to be uh, responsible if something happens to you. They need you here. That's all good. <laughs> we'll get you. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure your equipment doesn't get messed up here. Well, let's see. Uh, anything else that we need to talk about? No, sir. Just. Uh, just that uh it came it just bounced out it's okay i'm I'm going to be splitting my time and on timeouts and uh during the uh 
in between games, I'll, I'll probably have to check my phone for a Phillies score. I'm a big Phillies fan, so oh, I'm afraid tonight. we got nothing more to say to each other, uh, Mr. <laughs> Brooks. But uh, you know, interview. I got a prediction, and uh, you know, we don't need to we don't need to be enemies until unless and until those same two teams. I got to stand in uh, front of you here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to oppose each other in any way until the time comes. But I will say this. I have a prediction. I will make it in a very public way. The Astros will prevail in the ALCS. I think they will, too. I think they will, too. And I'm looking forward to a uh, another World Series just with a different outcome this year. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> yes and no. All right, By Roger. Way, have a good game. All right. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you I for think all I the work. I better go to a commercial right now. Thank We're you under for, attack. Thank you for all the work you thank do. You, we Mr. really Brogan. appreciate it. You're great. Yeah, you are too. All right. And that will do it for the Countdown to First Serve show. We'll take a break. I'll put together a couple of things that have been knocked askew. We shall return on Tuesday Night Volleyball on VibeFortMen.com, presented by the Volleyball School. The real first serve, not just a practice serve, is coming up soon. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass and an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics, but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free tech and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless billing auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. All right, we are up and running. They are introducing the players from both schools, and we are about to get this thing underway as Ridgepoint takes on Austin. As we mentioned during our little long tap dance interview with Mr. Leonard Brogan, the principal of Ridgepoint, the Panther girls are 28 and 13 on the season, but 13 and 1 
in their district matches. The Austin girls, 25 and 14, with an 11 and 2 record in district. So, if the Bulldogs happen to win this match, then that means that they are the champions of District 26A. They would have two losses, and Ridgepoint would have two losses, but both of Ridgepoint's losses would have been to the Bulldogs. So, there you go. So I wanted to mention the Ridgepoint seniors who were honored prior to tonight's match, and there are a lot of seniors on this roster. Mariah Gwynyard, Gwynyard rather, Mariah Gwynyard, Nadia Toussaint, Tamia Davis, Cameron Coleman, Taylor Jory, Phoebe Hobbs, Lauren Battle, Carrington Cook, and Soraya Johnson. Those are your seniors for Ridgepoint. They're introducing the whole team and they're running past the home grandstand and flinging little miniature volleyballs up into mainly the parents section because the parents really are the stars on senior night. And another reason that uh, we're excited about being here is you've got a lot of football and volleyball players showing up for Ridgepoint. They will be to our right. I suspect they're going to make a lot of noise because their Panther volleyball team needs them. Now we'll kind of hope that things don't get out of hand. And I don't think they will, mainly because I don't see a large group of Austin football players. So when you have football players from both schools on a Tuesday night match going back and forth at each other, there can be some snarling and snapping. But uh, hopefully that won't happen to us. All right, I want to introduce our fi officials. Man, I'm just, <coughs> excuse me just a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, just had to wet my whistle a little bit. So I um, want to introduce our officials, Derek Hayward and Anthony Sauters. We really appreciate officials at each and every interscholastic competition that we witness here on VikeFortBend.com. Because without officials, you got no competition, you got no game, you got no match. And here we go as Austin gets it underway. Junior captain Gabby Kennedy is waiting to go in. The other players on the floor, Adele Murray, she is certainly the star of this team. Isabella Fernandez. Also, Sahasra Vodatella. Freshman Tinsley Welker. They always seem to have great female freshman athletes at Austin, and Welker tonight is going to get her thousandth assist. And I'll keep my eyes open and hope that I can let you know that is happening. For Ridgepoint, let's see Taylor Jory, Cameron Coleman, Maddie Flores, Kennedy Rogers, Aaliyah Smith. And Taylor Johnson, I don't think I overlooked anyone. Oh, yes, I did. Lauren Battle, that is your starting lineup. And now Cameron Coleman steps off as Maddie Flores steps on. And Ridgepoint will serve first. They're wearing the purple sleeveless jersey tops with the black shorts. And the Austin girls wearing the long sleeve white jersey tops and the red shorts. And we are underway. There is a big swing by Bailey Blackburn of Austin. Does not get down. Aaliyah Smith answers her cross-court spike. Stays in the air. Austin gets it over. Now Ridgepoint attacks again. Coleman taps it over for the Ridgepoint. But now it is another swing by Austin, and Blackburn cannot get it down. Good defense on this first point. A little changeup thrown by Kennedy Rogers. Austin, not surprised. They handle it. Maddie Flores setting it up. Now Taylor Jory back set, Lauren Battle, and her bang down spike goes sideways off a block, and the first point goes to the Panthers. This thing could go five, and if it does, I just, wow, I'm going to be tired. More tired than the players even. So Jory serves for Ridgepoint, and there is Blackburn getting one down between Maddie Flores and Kennedy Rogers near the baseline. And it's one-to-one, -one, and you can tell Austin has brought a pretty good group of fans, and the sub-varsity girls are there doing their part as well. 
Freshman Tinsley Welker. Ready to fire her first serve of the match. With top spin, Kennedy Rogers digs it out. Now a back set for Aaliyah Smith, but she is denied. And now it is Adele Murray of Austin, and she catches a set on the way up and bangs it down before Ridgepoint is ready. And they are rolling in the deep as Adele Murray gets that bang down spike to make it two to one, Austin's first lead. Welker serves again, Rogers digs it again. Now Taylor Jory and Cameron Coleman tries to tap it over, but Austin is ready. Blackburn fires away and her spike is good. Three to one, Austin leads. The fans are into it from the very beginning and the ball got away. I think it went under the bleachers, way down there near a bunch of senior night decorations. Welker does not look like a freshman. She serves. It's a knuckleball, no spin whatsoever. Jory setting it up for Aaliyah Smith. She's blocked. Ridgepoint does send it back over. Welker is blocked and a tap down winner for Ridgepoint's Cameron Coleman. It is now three to two, Austin leads. Aaliyah Smith, daughter of Wade Smith, former NFL offensive lineman, will serve. Here comes her serve, bumped up by Kennedy. And Adele Murray bumps it over and a point to Austin, a violation on Ridge Point. One of the Panthers touched the net. And it's four to two, Bulldogs. Bailey Blackburn with her first opportunity to serve. Serving from the middle of the baseline. Long blonde ponytail, fires it. Takes a pretty big leap and Flores lets it go and it's in. Flores should have bumped it up. She thought it was gonna be long. Five to two, Austin leads. Blackburn ready to fire again, there it goes. Now she goes to the deep left corner. Aaliyah Smith brings it up, and Kennedy Rogers, the hardest spiker in the building, cannot get it to go down. Blackburn fires one. Ridge Point will not be able to spike on the third hit. Welker digs it for Austin. Kennedy sets it up for Blackburn, goes cross court. Flores digs it out for Ridge Point. Now Kennedy Rogers tapped it over when they thought she was going to spike it hard, but Austin returned it, and now Lauren Battle is denied at the net. Back on Ridge Point side, Aaliyah Smith bumps it. Kennedy bumps it up. Now Welker, and now a miss hit by Maybelline Garcia. And that's a point to the Panthers. A great point by both teams. Kind of like in baseball, you want great prolonged at bats. And if you can ke keep getting those, it usually serves you well. Ridge Point trailing 5-3 and getting the serve now. Aaliyah Smith sets it up for Lauren Battle. Her spike is long, and it's caught on a hop by Principal Leonard Brogan of Ridgepoint as he sees his school's girls go down by a score of 6-3. to three. Now Gabby Kennedy will serve for the first time. We're in the black and red libero jersey. Bumped up by Kennedy Rogers. She will get it back. Big swing, but Blackbird digs it out. Wilker setting it up for Murray. She's blocked by the sophomore Taylor Johnson and Ridge Point gets the point. They are now within six to four. Lauren Battle goes to the baseline and for the first time, super soft Jaden Robinson comes into the match. Lauren Battle serves for Ridge Point, no spin. Murray bumps it up, Wilker sets up Blackburn, goes cross court and Flores digs it out for Ridge Point. Now it goes way wide and it hit the official's chair so that's out. Point to the Bulldogs. They lead it 7-4 in this game one. So far, I would say Austin knows that Ridge Point really wants this match bad, but it is not going to be some coronation. And there is a spike for Ridge Point. Aaliyah Smith banged it down hard. And it went through clean. Ridge Point is within 7-5. Kennedy Rogers to serve. 
She was not playing the first two, first time these two teams met. Hard single bar serve, but the uh, dogs handle it. Aaliyah Smith with a hard spike, dug out by Blackburn. Adele Murray sends it deep to the court. And it is going to be coming over by Taylor Johnson, but Blackburn down the left sideline. It's out. Point to the Panthers. And they trail now by only 7-6, to six, and Kennedy Rogers will serve again. Her toss goes almost all the way up to the rafters, and she hits it hard. Here it comes, but right into the net. Sometimes you never know it's, where it's going. Sometimes she spikes the splitter, so to speak, as in split-fingered fastball for those of you in Rio Linda. It is eight to six for the Bulldogs from peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek. Served by Isabella Fernandez. Now Ridgepoint to return it. Aaliyah Smith fires it wide. She goes cross court from our right to our left and she missed the sideline. Nine to six, Austin leads and Isabella Fernandez will serve again. Kristen Goodman, the head coach of the Bulldogs is up off the bench and Fernandez hits a serve into the net. Each team has done that once now. Nine to seven, well that's, uh, I think they messed up on the scoreboard. But anyway, it says nine to seven. Blackburn is blocked. Austin keeps it alive. Skirmish at the net. Flores sends it over for Ridgepoint. Now Blackburn again taps it over with the left hand. Ridgepoint keeps it alive. Flores sets it up for Aaliyah Smith. Cross court and it's out. Point to the dogs. Makes it 10 to 7. This is already the best volleyball match I've seen this year. Kennedy goes to the bench. Maybelline Garcia comes in or collection or collection correction I think it's uh, Liasha Karani yes it's Liasha Karani and she serves Ridge Point trying to get it back over bumped over by Kennedy Rogers Adele Murray to Welker to Blackburn fires and Ridge Point keeps it alive now a big swing by the sophomore Jaden Robinson but she's blocked by Blackburn point to the dogs they lead it 11 to 7 they are not blinking one bit. And Liasha Karani will serve again with her feet on the floor with topspin. Lauren Battle setting it up. And there's a winner by Jaden Robinson. Sent it to the left corner right here in front of us. And Austin couldn't return it. Adele Murray did get a fist on it. And the Bulldogs are playing great. And Murray has only had one kill. So they're getting everybody involved. Taylor Jory serves for Ridgepoint, but it hits the top of the net and goes down on the Ridgepoint side. 12-8, the Bulldogs now lead, and Welker will serve. This will be her second opportunity to serve in this first game. There it goes. Over to the right corner, Kennedy Rogers with a, a dig that goes way up into the rafters. Kennedy saves it for... Austin and Adele Murray gets it over a block that takes the speed off of it and it falls down on the Ridge Point side 13 to 8 the Bulldogs lead it you know sometimes the worst thing that can happen is a partial block it's kind of like when uh, Jose Abreu touched that Evan Carter base hit and he slowed it down enough for it to be a hustle double and there's a Ridge Point spike the officials disagreeing about uh, whose point it was, so I think it's going to be a do-over. It's 13 to 8. Lauren Battle is talking to the official in the tall chair, and that, I believe, is Mr. Derek Hayward, and it's simply a do-over. It's still 13 to 8, and Welker serves again. No spin, sends it deep to the middle. Flores dug it out. It's going to be a big swing. Lauren Battle, but she hits it out. On the spike attempt, she had plenty of good overspin on it, but it just didn't get down inside the boundary. Timeout Ridgepoint, they trail by six. It is 14 to eight. This is VikeFortMen.com, Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School. 
We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. The timeout is over, and Welker serves for Austin with the Bulldogs leading 14 to 8, and that's a winner. Maddie Flores tried to dig it out, and it bounced sideways off of her forearm. It's 15 to 8, Austin. They have basically punched Ridgepoint in the face to this point. How will the Panthers respond as Welker serves again? Kennedy Rogers digs it out. Now Jory. Now Lauren Battle and puts a spin on it. And the bang down spike, uh, not with the highest velocity, but it did have some downward break on it. And Ridge Point gets within 15 to nine. Aaliyah Smith ready to serve. Everybody who served is right-handed thus far. Kennedy bumps it up. Now Welker gets it to Murray. She fires it and it is a point to Austin. 16 to nine, it would have been a winner, but I believe it was a violation called on Ridgepoint. They touched the net. Seven point margin, 16 to nine, and it crawls over the top of the net and gets down. It got down, Blackburn with an ace. 17 to nine. Ridgepoint came close to digging it out. They played on, but then the whistles came. Point over. Blackburn serves again. Jory setting it up for Rodgers, taps it over, Welker with a diving save. Now Blackburn from beyond the boundary, hits it deep, and Aaliyah Smith puts it in the air, and Kennedy Rodgers fires it long. Kennedy Rodgers crushes that ball. When you hear it, it sounds like no other spiker in District 26A, but that is long, and it's 18-9, to Austin on top. Flores digs it. Jory back set for Lauren Battle, and it is saved by Kennedy and Blackburn, and Welker sends it over. Now Flores on the Ridgepoint side. Kennedy Rogers sends it to the middle. Kennedy, Wilker, Murray! Bang, zoom, but not to the moon. Straight to the floor, and it's a 10-point Austin lead, 19-9. to Timeout, Ridgepoint. We'll be back on BikeFortBend.com. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass in an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics. Love for savings. Now, if you all take a hand out. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity mobile requires Xfinity internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. We are back to live action. Bulldogs, Blackburn from the middle. Tries to get one down. Great save, Aaliyah Smith. That was magnificent. Kennedy Rogers digs it out for Ridgepoint. And now Welker taps it over for Austin. And the Bulldogs bumped into the net. Violation on Austin. Gets Ridgepoint within 19 to 10. And Cameron Coleman is going to serve from the middle of the far baseline. Here comes her serve into the net. A gift point to the Bulldogs. 
And they are in control to this point, leading 20 to 10. So Hasra Votatella is back into the match for the Bulldogs. Gabby Kennedy waiting to serve. She lets it fly, and it is out. Ridgepoint gets within nine at 20 to 11 on the unforced error. Jaden Robbins, Robinson rather, the super soft enters the game. Taylor Johnson, the other super soft, was already in there. Adele Murray digs it out in miscommunication. It drops on the Austin side. She kind of bumped it, but not well up into the air. And one Bulldog thought the other was going to take it, and now it's 20 to 12. Lauren Battle serves again. Gabby Kennedy bumps it up. Now Wilker back set for Murray. Clean winner spike. And it goes all the way into the lobby by the concession stand. Make sure the ball isn't sticky when it gets back onto the court. I mean, it literally went all the way to the concession counter, bouncing off the plate glass door. Wow. 21 to 12, Austin leads and Murray serves. Takes a little something off of it. Flores digs it out for Ridgepoint. Now Kennedy Rogers taps it over. Great save, Kennedy. Blackford bumps it over to the Ridgepoint side. Now the Panthers attack. And there is a swing and a winner for Jaden Robinson. And the Panthers get within 21 to 13. Kennedy Rogers will continue serving. Spins it, throws it high up in the air, and here it comes. Kennedy digs it out. Wilker setting it up for Murray, and two hits on the Bulldog side. Ridgepoint gets a little closer, getting the point on the Austin violation. It's now 21 to 14. Here comes Kennedy Rogers with her high, hard serve, and it's long. It's like in the movie Bull Durham as Crash. Crash Davis, the catcher, played by Kevin Costner, said to the batter, I swear to God, I don't know where the next one's going. 22 to 14, Bulldogs lead it. And there is the serve by Isabella Fernandez. And the ridge point return goes sideways all the way past the broad purple sideline of the basketball court. And they find themselves down by nine again. It's 23 to 14. Fernandez ready to serve. A slight leap as she fires it. Flores, now Rogers. Now the big swing by Aaliyah Smith, and it's a violation against Ridgepoint, a double hit. And the Ridgepoint girls are looking around like we didn't see any double hit, but the officials did, and it's 24-14. Game point for the Austin Bulldogs. Fernandez delivers it. Flores bumps it up, and here comes the big swing, and it's out or touched by Austin. It's a point to Austin. Ridge Point got the spike attempt by Taylor Johnson, and it was long, and nobody for Austin touched it. At the time, I saw Coach Goodman of Austin cringe like, oh, no, we touched it. But fortunately for her and her team, the officials didn't see it that way. So Austin wins game one pretty easily, 25 to 14. We shall return on VibeFortBend.com to this battle for the championship of District 26A. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass in an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. 
It's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics, but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Okay, the Ridgepoint Panther girls who lost at Austin in peaceful, bucolic, Pheasant Creek. I'd really like to give you the date, but I'm uh, going to have to figure that out. But it was a Friday night several weeks ago, about four weeks ago. And so Ridgepoint has been looking forward to this rematch, but right now, Austin has a lead, 25 to 14. Ridgepoint moves to the end of the court that is closer to us. Kristen Goodman, head coach of Austin and also Ridgepoint head coach Lauren Bailey grew up friends, went to Pasadena Memorial. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Yeah, no, it's right, it's actually right. Pasadena Memorial is where they went to school and coach goodman was class of 2009 at pasadena memorial coach bailey was no wait a minute 2006 coach goodman was class of 2006 and coach bailey was class of 2009. austin will serve to begin game two with one game already in their pocket Wilker will serve first and gets it over. It dives. Ridgepoint can't get it back over. Little miscommunication. Aaliyah Smith and Lauren Battle and Maddie Flores. They all touched it. But that, goal, uh, that ball got too close to the floor too early for Ridgepoint to handle. Wilker fires the next one. Leah Smith. Lauren Battle now cross court to Kennedy Rogers with the left hand. She dunks it over. Just a little tap. Underhanded. And now she's right in front of us. And the way she throws the ball up to the Raptors, it's almost scary. Way up it goes, and there goes her serve. Murray over her head with it. She gets it back, fires away. Rich point blocks it and gets the winner. Taylor Johnson and Jaden Robinson shoulder to shoulder with the block that went back over the net and down for a Panther point. It's two to one. Kennedy Rogers ready to fire again. Sean Rogers, a former NFL player, is her dad. Here goes the serve. Adele Murray bumps it up. Back set for Blackburn. She fires it. And it's down in front of Lauren Battle for a Bulldog point. And we're tied at two in game two. Austin captured the first. Blackburn from the middle of the baseline lets it rip. Flores digs it out. Lauren Battle back set for uh, Jaden Robinson. And she set it so wide to the right of the red and white boundary pole that there was no possible angle to get it over and down within the boundary. So the Bulldogs get another point. They lead 3-2. Blackburn just over the net. Battle setting it up for Aaliyah Smith. She goes cross court left to right, but it's out. Point Bulldogs, 4-2. 
Blackburn sends this one deep. Kennedy Rogers with hands above her head. And now there's a slam by Jaden Robinson, and it's out. Good contact on that, but she didn't really get on top of it to make it stay down. It flew out. Five to two, Austin on top. Just crawling over the top of the net. And a lucky serve for Blackburn. Six to two, everything happening for the dogs right now. Blackburn serve continues. Here it comes, a little knuckleball. Kennedy Rogers keeps it in the air. And there's a big swing by Taylor Johnson, but it's a wild pitch, so to speak. It's way out, four feet. Or maybe even more is how much it missed the right sideline. Seven to two, Bulldogs. Blackburn with a knuckleball. Ridgepoint handles, a block by Austin. Now it's on the Ridgepoint side again, Aaliyah Smith. She gets a clean winner. Ridgepoint needed a kill to get the serve back. They trail seven to three. Roger Smith along with Daniel Garrigan inside the mothership at Vipe World headquarters. A lot of air under that serve by Taylor Johnson. Now it's back on the Ridgepoint side. Lauren Battle back set for Robinson. She fires it, but Austin keeps it airborne. Kennedy bumps it over. Now Jaden Robinson, battle back to Robinson. She fires it. Blackburn keeps it in the air. Kennedy saves it. And Welker just short of the net. That would have been spectacular. But it's a Panther point. They get within seven to four. And now Taylor Johnson will serve. She keeps her feet on the floor as she serves with some top spin. And an overset that Aaliyah Smith kills. And in celebration, a teammate pushes Aaliyah down hard on her tailbone. She's getting up. It must have been Kennedy Rogers, because only she's that strong to knock a teammate over. <laughs> Kennedy Rogers is laughing, but she's not the one who fell on her tushy. Seven to five is the score. Ridgepoint claw crawling back into it. And there's a winner by Blackburn. She just bumped it over, and it found an open spot in the middle of four Panthers. So the dogs get the serve back and they lead it eight to five. Gabby Kennedy looks over at coach Goodman. Slight leap as she fires it. Ridgepoint is gonna be able to send it back. Jaden Robinson dug out by Kennedy. Now set up for Blackburn. She fires it and off the floor as and into the stands. Point Austin. They lead it nine five. That might have been out, but it was moving so fast that Maddie Flores of Ridgepoint had no choice but to try to get an arm on it. Kennedy serves again. Her team leading nine to five in game two, and boy, she, that one looked like it had helium in it, way past the baseline. Point to the Panthers, they're down nine to six. Taylor Jory, one of the seniors honored prior to tonight's match, comes to the baseline and she will serve with the very attractive purple and white compression sleeves on each arm. She lets it go. Blackburn bumps it. Welker backs it. Adele Murray, she's blocked, but it goes out of bounds. Point to the dogs, and they get that four-point lead back. It's 10 to six. They won the first game, 25 to 14. Adele Murray will now serve. Here it comes with a little screwball action. Jory's gonna set it up for a Lauren battle. She gets the bang down spike. And gets the Panthers back within three again, 10 to seven. Aaliyah Smith ready to retaliate with the service. Panthers trailing by three. There goes her serve, bumped up by Kennedy. Welker for Blackburn. She sends it deep to the baseline and Aaliyah Smith puts it up. Now Jory, now Smith again. And it goes wide. Point to the Panthers there within two. It's 10 to eight. Aaliyah Smith ready to give it another go. There goes her serve, maybe long, it is long. Too much air. 
11 to 8, Austin now leads. And Isabella Fernandez is going to serve. She starts stepping into her serve from outside of the sideline. And it crawls over the net, and it's a winner. Kennedy Rogers touched it. Wait a minute. Official timeout. Somehow the officials had called a timeout prior to the Fernandez serve. And now they've got to talk with uh, someone at the scorer's table. So the official talking at the scorer's table is Anthony Sauters. The question is when Austin serves, will it be 12 to 8 or will it still be 11 to 8? So there's nothing illegal about Fernandez, and I hope I described this correctly, if the sideline went on and on, you know, all the way around the world. She started her walk up to her serve from outside of what would be the continued sideline. Ridgepoint fans trying to get the Panthers back into it. And they're saying, let's go Bulldogs on the other side. It's like being at the Tower of Babel. Confusion. And I don't think anybody who's uh, been at the waist to talk to someone behind the scorer's ca- uh, table can hear what's going on either. I mean, can't hear the most important discussion as they adjudicate this apparently thorny situation. By the way, I guess it's a good time to tell you what we have on the football field this week. Thursday night from Hall Stadium, Willow Ridge and Marshall, 6.45 p.m. with a countdown to kickoff show. Then Friday, also from Hall Stadium, it's Hightower taking on Elkins again, starting at 6.45. And then on Saturday, 1 p.m., it's a matinee between Fulcher and Kempner. All right, Fernandez serving, and it's 11-8. That last serve didn't count. There's a tap down by Welker, and it's a point to the Bulldogs. Not only did her shot get down, Ridgepoint tried to lift it anyway. So a lift against Ridgepoint. And it is 12-8, Austin. Hernandez from way off. Fires it into the net. A gift point to the Panthers. And they get within 12-9. Maddie Flores will serve. I think this is her first time serving. There it goes. Bumped up by Murray. And now we got a point to the Panthers. Because evidently... Wait a minute. It's actually a point to the Bulldogs. A point to the Bulldogs. Ridge point reached over and touched the net while one of the Bulldogs was still in possession of it. I believe it was Welker. So it is 13 to 9 Bulldogs and Austin is still serving. Taylor Jory setting it up for Taylor Johnson. She cannot get it down. And now it is Jory digging it on the Ridge Point side. Kennedy Rogers big swing through the block of Welker and it gets down. Ridge Point gets within three and the football boys come out of the stands. Don't worry, Principal Brogan is watching them carefully. Lauren Battle, ready to serve. She lets it fly, no spin. Dug out by Fernandez, now Blackburn fires it. Cross court from her left to her right. Down it goes, 14 to 10, the dogs leading and feeling very good about the way they're playing. And well, they should, by the way, I think uh, Welker is real close to her 1,000th assist. There's some girls with a banner ready to help her celebrate that. But there's a point for Ridgepoint. Jaden Robinson hits it hard, and it goes off the fist of Isabella Fernandez. It's 14 to 11. The dogs leading, but Ridgepoint serving again with Kennedy Rogers, who hits it so hard. I really feel bad for the ball. 
There it goes. Murray digs it out very casually. She gets the spike attempt, and it is a winner for Austin. Off the block, and it went wide of the sideline, even though it stayed on the Austin side. And the reason they're going so insane is that is the 1,000th assist in the season for the freshman, Tinsley Welker. 1,000 assists. It's 15 to 11. Dogs lead. Flores digs out the Blackburn serve. Now it is Jaden Robinson trying to hit it hard. It's blocked and stays on the ridge point side. There is Aaliyah Smith. She just taps it over. Kennedy Wilker and a winner for Adele Murray. Rumor has it that it's 16 to 11. The Dogs on top and they've already captured game one. Timeout taken by Ridge Point. Storyline here. The first time they met and when Austin win, uh, won, Ridge Point was saying, yeah, but Kennedy Rogers was on a college visit, so we weren't at full strength. But Austin won that one fair and square, and now both teams are at full strength. And we'll be back after this timeout. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Ridge Point is the team that's down, but Austin is spending more time in the huddle, and I think you'll get to hear the buzzer. I love to hear the buzzer. Now Austin is ready to start whacking volleyballs again as Blackburn serves. 16 to 11, the dogs are on top. Here comes her serve, just gets over the net. Flores digs it out, back set for Jaden Robinson or Taylor Johnson rather, and she she thought the set was gonna be one of those quick sets and she was gonna get it on the way up, but the set was way above her when she came back to the floor. And there's a wild serve by Blackburn, but wild in a good way for the dogs. It broke right before it got to Maddie Flores and she couldn't bump it up, she bumped it sideways, 18 to 11. The dogs lead. All right, Ridge Point trying to return it. And there is a winner by Jaden Robinson. That was totally clean and down. And it got the Ridge Point players up off the bench. They're trying to find something that Gives them sustained momentum, but they're down by six and already down a game. There's the serve of Taylor Johnson. And sending it over is Maybelline Garcia for Austin. Aaliyah Smith gets it on the ridge point side, and she hits a clean winner. Left to right, cross court. Gets ridge point within five. It is 18-13. Taylor Johnson flies her serve, no spin, bumped up by Blackburn. Welker to Blackburn, cannot get it over, and it's a point for Ridge Point. Actually, I mentioned Blackburn, it was Kylie Beer. Kylie Beer, whose brother Aiden plays baseball for Austin. She tried to tap it over a Ridge Point block, and it went down on the Austin side. It's 18 to 14. Kennedy. Now they're gonna set it up a quick set by Welker, but Ridge Point was there with the defense. Aaliyah Smith bangs it, and it's off the top of the net, then off of Beer's forearm and into the crowd. Point to the Panthers, they've scored the last two. You know they've scored the last four, actually. They're within 18 to 15. There is the curveball serve, and Adele Murray answers with a bang down spike. Got on top of the ball and hit it while it was still rising. Ridge Point wasn't ready. Kind of like quick pitching someone. 19 to 15. Kennedy will serve for Austin. They won the first game 25 to 14. 
Here comes her serve. Kennedy Rogers bumps it up. Battle to Robinson. And it's dug out by Kennedy. Austin attacks. Beer is blocked. And it's a winner for Ridgepoint. Cameron Coleman said, not this time. Not so fast, my friend. She said, cancel that mead when Beer tried for the spike. Ridgepoint trailing 19-16. Taylor Jory slapping the ball. Now serves. Sends it to the middle. Kennedy bumps it up. Wilker back set. Murray. She's blocked. It goes straight up. Ridgepoint still in control. Rogers from the middle. Blocked by Murray. Point Austin. Rogers hit it just right, but just right at Kennedy Rogers, uh, right at Adele Murray. He said, someone like you shouldn't get a spike against me, at least not on this point. 20 to 16, Ridgepoint trails, but the cross court spike winner, Lauren Battle, bounces it off a dig attempt and it goes all the way to the side wall of this gym. It's 20 to 17. Aaliyah Smith will serve now. There it goes with no spin. Murray bumps it up. Welker going to set it up for Beer. She goes cross court. Ridgepoint sends it back over and a little quick set by Welker doesn't work. And now Kennedy Rogers. She's blocked at the net. Now Kennedy. Now Welker. Now Beer with top spin. It's a, well, Ridgepoint sends it back over. Murray tries to finish it, but hits it long. And the Panthers are within two. It's 20 to 18. Man, we got a heck of a match going here. And it's just in game two. Aaliyah Smith serving again. There it goes. Murray keeps it up in the air. Might have gotten away with a double hit. Beer is blocked. Now Kennedy, now Welker, now Blackburn. Dug out by Aaliyah Smith. Matty Flores tries to save it. Now back over her head, Aaliyah Smith. It's on the Austin side. That was miraculous. Quick set by Welker. Ridgepoint handles it. Kennedy Rogers taps it. Murray, Welker, Beer. Cancel that lead again. Blocked by Ridgepoint. Lauren Battle sends it back to the floor on the Austin side. And now it's 20 to 19. Austin wants a timeout. You're listening to Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School on VikeFortBend.com. We're the Volleyball School with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Tuesday night volleyball next week on VibeFortMen.com will be Foster at Fulcher to determine the championship of their Class 5A district. This match determines the championship of District 26A. Ridgepoint had started to go out onto the court. Coach Lauren Bailey called the Panther girls back. And so both teams came out onto the court at the same time. It's a one point game. Ridgepoint trying to battle back. They're down 20 to 19. Aaliyah Smith served. Dug out by Murray. Almost an overset. Welker tapped it over. And now Ridgepoint attacks again. Kennedy Rogers goes easy on it. Couldn't fool them. And Beer blocked again. Now it's on the Austin side. Murray takes something off of it. Ridgepoint handles it. Kennedy Rogers can only bump it over and she hits it into the net. Two-point lead again for the Bulldogs, 21-19. They won the first game, 25-14. They would be downright giddy if they could capture game two. Here comes the serve of Fernandez. Kennedy Rogers gets a spike chance. It's blocked. Stays on the Ridgepoint side. And then it falls on the Austin side. Welker and Beer were kind of looking at each other each expecting the other to return it, and it fell to the floor. So it's a one-point game again, 21-20. to Flores serves for Ridgepoint, and it's a winner! Gets down in front of Gabby Kennedy, and the football boys 
come 20 feet out of the stands. Don't worry, Principal Brogan is watching carefully. It's 21 all. This game hasn't been tied since it was one to one. Welker setting it up. For Blackburn, who's blocked. Blocked by Taylor Johnson of Ridge Point. The Panthers lead it 22 to 21. Wait a minute. It's a point to Austin. Point to Austin, they lead it 22-21. Aaliyah Smith digs out the serve. Taylor Jory sets up, Lauren Battle, and it's a spike winner. It went off Blackburn's forearms and out of bounds, and we are tied at 22. Jaden Robinson comes into the match. Taylor Jory takes a seat. Ridgepoint with that really tall blocking specialists lineup. Lauren Battle spins it, fires it. Bumped up by Murray, now Welker, now it's Blackburn. She's blocked, and it's a point to the Panthers. Jaden Robinson said no, and it's 23 to 22. Timeout, Austin. We'll be back on bikefortbend.com. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Ridge points, Ben, back out on the court for about 15 seconds, and now Austin is finally breaking their huddle. 23 to 22, Ridgepoint leads game two, but they lost game one. They really need this one. Lauren Battle serves for the Panthers. Adele Murray bumps it up. Now a set up for Blackburn and she's blocked again. It is Taylor Johnson again. Five blocks already in this game, or this match rather, for Taylor Johnson. It's Game point for Ridge Point. Lauren Battle ready to fire it. There it goes. Murray. Now Welker. And a little tap over by Blackburn, but Ridge Point handles it. Back set for Robinson. Sends it deep, but Murray saves it. And it's on the Austin side. Kennedy setting it up for Blackburn. She's brought down, and the Panthers capture game two. 25 to 22, it's all even. You're celebrating like the thing's over. It's not. And we're happy about that. This is BikeFortBend.com. We'll be back with Game 3 right after this. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass in an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. 
It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics, but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless billing auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. The volleyball school is very conveniently located for girls who are going to be in Austin High School, Travis, Foster, also Kempner. Beautiful new location, not brand new, but it's uh, been there for less than a year and a half, I believe, on Belfort. And we appreciate their support there. The reason we can bring you Tuesday night volleyball on VibeFortBend.com. This match is all even. Austin won the first game 25-14, and Ridge Point came back to take game two, 25-22. During game two, Tinsley Welker, the freshman for Austin, got her 1,000th assist. By the way, our volleyball by district playoffs will come your way Monday, the Octo- October the 30th, if there is a match on that night that we can bring you, and then... Then the next night is Halloween, but we know we're going to be doing playoff volleyball. We don't do no trick or treat. We outgrew that. Austin gets a spike that was blocked. Adele Murray's spike was blocked out of bounds by Ridge Point, and the Bulldogs get the first point of game one. They get the second point of game two as there's a double hit on the Panthers. Two to nothing, Austin on top, Blackburn serving, almost from the middle of the baseline, kind of a sinker ball serve, and now from the middle it is Robinson, and Blackburn saves it. Now, Beer fires one deep to the middle, and it almost got down, but there's a great save by Blackburn. Now Kennedy, now Beer, and it's saved by Flores on the ridge point side. Now Blackburn sets up Welker, quick set, Murray, and it is... Point to the dogs, three to nothing. They lead it in game three. Blackburn, Bailey will let it rip, just gets it over the net. Kennedy Rogers with a big swing and that's a winner off of Murray's wrist and out of bounds. Rich Point gets its first point of game three. They're down three to one and now they will serve with Kennedy Rogers and she will toss the ball more than halfway up to the rafters before unleashing her violent serve. There it goes, and here it comes. A lot of air under that this time. Welker setting it up for Garcia. She goes cross court, but it's it's a do-over. The official in the tall chair, Mr. Derek Hayward, Tapped his chest and said, gave the double thumbs up. Kind of like a jump ball in basketball, and we will do it over. It is still 3 to 1 Ridge Point trailing. Kennedy Rogers with her serve. Sinker ball bumped up by Beer. Now Wilker, now Murray. It ends up on the Ridge Point side. Now the Panthers attack. Robinson gets it past Kennedy. Point to the Panthers, gets them within 3 to 2. Kennedy Rogers waits by the senior night decorations all along the wall at the, I guess that's the north end. Here comes her serve. She hits it hard. Kennedy digs it out, almost hits the rafters. Blackburn now, Beer goes cross court and Flores digs it out on the Ridge Point side. Now Robinson 
She is dug out by Welker. They overset it, though. Now Richpoint has it. Battle sets up Robinson. Kennedy digs for Austin. Now Murray is blocked. Beer keeps it alive. Welker setting it up for Garcia. And finally, Murray puts it away for Austin. When Ridgepoint overset it by about a foot, it was right in her wheelhouse, and she banged it down in the right corner at the far end. 4-2, to two, Austin leads it. And Gabby Kennedy, ready to serve, looks over at Coach Goodman, gets the signal, comes in hot, goes way past the baseline. Rogers. And now Aaliyah Smith, and now it's Murray with another winner to the deep right corner. Nobody there. As the point developed, Ridge Point's defense gravitated toward the middle and away from the corners, and Adele Murray was able to see that and take advantage. Meanwhile, the ball goes under the stands at the far end. No one really saw where it went. Aaliyah Smith goes and gets it. Apparently it's not sticky after it rolled under the bleachers. Kennedy looks up and fires away. There it goes. Flores digs it out for Ridge Point. Now Lauren Battle setting it up for Aaliyah Smith, and that's a clean winner at a very shallow angle. Kennedy tried to dive for it, couldn't even get a hand on it. Ridge Point gets within five to three. Now the serve will belong to Taylor Johnson. Just a sophomore, lets it go. A lot of air under it. Kennedy, now Welker, back set for Murray. She's blocked and it gets down on the Ridge Point side. Point to the dogs, they get the serve right back. And it'll be Murray firing away. Keeps her feet on the floor as she fires it deep to the middle. Rogers digs it out. Line battle comes along and there's a whistle. The point will go to the dogs. Yeah, I believe there was a double hit on Lauren Battle. Seven to three, the Dogs lead. This is their biggest lead in game three. The match is all even at one game apiece. Ridge Point returning, and there is a winner by Aaliyah Smith. I think it might have been wide, but Kennedy couldn't get her hands out of the way. That's how hot it was coming in. Ridge Point trails, seven to four. Now they will serve with Taylor Jory, who just came off the bench. The right-hander fires it, dug out by Beer. Now it is Blackburn, and there is a block, and is it a point to Austin? It's a point to Ridgepoint. Some kind of violation. I didn't get my eyes on the tall chair official soon enough. Sorry about that. 7-5 to five Ridgepoint trails. Blackburn to Welker, quick set, but Jory is there. Now Flores sets it up. Rogers from the middle, and somehow she took something off of it and found an empty space in the middle of the Austin defense. That winner gets Ridgepoint within seven to six. Three straight points by the Panthers, and Jory serves. Kennedy bumps it up. Welker is going to set it up for Beer. She taps it over, but Ridgepoint responds with the defense. Jory sets up. Kennedy Rogers, but her spike attempt is long. The point to the Bulldogs. They are on top, 8-6. to six. Their lead at times has been precarious in this third game, but they're up by two. The biggest lead was four. And there is Isabella Fernandez serving. Lauren Battle sends it deep. Fernandez digs it out. She's going to be the one to hit it over. Kennedy Rogers, now Jory. Now it's Aaliyah Smith. Cannot get it to go down. The Dogs' defense is tough. Beer swings hard. Rogers saves it near the baseline. Florida setting it up for Aaliyah Smith. Tapping it over. The Dogs save it. Wilker to Blackburn, and she fires a wild one way beyond the sideline. Ridge Point back within one, trailing eight to seven. And Aaliyah Smith will serve. Just to the right of her dad, Wade, who has taken the video for the team. Here it comes. Fernandez bumps it up. Welker sets it up for Blackburn down the left sideline, and it's good. 
Got it between Jory's forearms. Nine to seven. The Dogs lead is back up to two. Votatella and Kennedy go to the bench and one of the players that came in is Liasha Karani. She serves. Tori setting it up for Kennedy Rogers. Tries to get it down. Great save, Karani. And the Dogs didn't communicate. Two great hits to keep it alive. And then there were just four dogs watching the ball fall to the floor. Nobody called it. Ridge Point trailing 9-8. to eight. Murray digs out a serve. Now it's on the Ridge Point side again. Jory setting it up for Rogers, and she's blocked by Welker. Beautiful block. Kennedy Rogers doesn't get rejected that way very often. And Welker ready to serve. Sinker ball. Ridge Point handles it. They overset it. Murray spiked it, and Ridge Point couldn't return it. Point to the dogs, and their lead is up to three. 11 to eight. The signal from Coach Goodman to the freshman Welker. There goes her serve. Rogers bumps it high, gets it back, uses the left hand, but Blackburn has it. Now there is Garcia sending it over. Ridge Point responds with a defense. Murray with a block that stays down on the Ridge Point side. Point to the dogs. They lead it 12-8, matching their biggest lead in this game three. Welker looking very mature, very calm, not playing the part of a freshman very well. She serves, not a lot of spin, dug out by Aaliyah Smith. And there is a miss hit by Ridge Point's Taylor Johnson. The set that she had was kind of behind her head and she couldn't really get on top of the ball. Timeout Ridge Point, it's a five point lead for Austin. We're tied in this match, one game all, 13 to eight on VibeFortBend.com. Tuesday night volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Our next edition of Tuesday Night Volleyball features Foster at Fulcher. That will decide their district championship, and we are deciding a district championship right here right now between Austin and Ridge Point. The Bulldogs and Panthers are tied one game apiece and the Bulldogs lead game three, 13 to eight. Ridge Point just took a timeout and Welker serves for the Bulldogs. Aaliyah Smith digs it. Kenny DeRogers gets a spike attempt. It goes off the Murray block and beyond the baseline. That winner for Ridge Point on the kill gets them with it in 13 to nine. Meanwhile, back at the far baseline, Lauren Battle waits for the ball. It is still being rolled toward her. And okay, now we can resume the action. Here comes her serve, just gets over. Welker setting it up for Murray, she's blocked. And it falls between two Ridge Point defenders. It was the Super Softs, Taylor Johnson and Jaden Robinson made a great block together. But when the ball came back down, Neither went after it. The five point lead is restored for Austin, 14-9, and Blackburn serves. Lauren Battle with a setup for Kennedy Rogers. She tries a tap over. Now it's Austin's turn, and it's Beer who tries to get a spike to go down, can't. Now in the middle, it's Robinson blocked by Murray. Austin with Beer, she gets. She is blocked and it falls on the Austin side. Ridge Point gets the point as with, and is within 14 to 10. 
as Kennedy Rogers will unleash her high torque serve. High toss, high torque. Here it comes. Actually, that was a low toss. First time tonight she's done that. Set up for Murray. She's blocked, and it falls on the ridge point side. Point to the Bulldogs. They get the five-point lead back again. 15 to 10. Oh, I threw the ball to the wrong end. There's something, uh, something is uh, being discussed. But I guess that last point went to the Bulldogs. Kennedy fires it. And it's a winner down the left sideline. Kennedy Rogers going after it with one fist. And Austin has its biggest lead of game three, 16 to 10. Gabby Kennedy, the junior captain, will fire away again. She leaps a little bit as she gets it to crawl over the tape and fall down. You better go up and kiss the net after a point like that. 17 to 10, the dogs lead. I mean, you know, sometimes it slows it down, but that time it just crawled over and dropped straight down. Kennedy fires deep to the middle. Flores digs it out. Now a set up for Taylor Johnson. Overset by the dogs. They still have a chance. Kennedy keeps it alive. Now it's on the ridge point side. Set up for Taylor Johnson. She hits it long. 18 to 10, Austin leads game three. Substitution, battle goes out. And Phoebe Hobbs comes in. Kennedy to serve again, comes in hot, bumped up by Rogers. Hobbs setting it up for Robinson. An overset, but Ridgepoint doesn't handle it. A perfect overset where Taylor Johnson could have crushed it, but she swung a little bit too early, and it's 19 to 10, Austin. Timeout, Ridgepoint will take it with them. The Bulldogs are acting like they deserve the district championship. We'll be back. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass and an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics. But for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity mobile requires Xfinity internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. Timeout over. Kennedy serving. Ridge point to return it and they mishandle it. Jaden Robinson, it's not really, well it's a shared blame thing. Nobody really got good contact on that serve by Kennedy and she will fire it away again. 20 to 10, Austin leads, comes in hot. Kennedy Rogers bumps it up, Phoebe Hobbs. Now Aaliyah Smith goes cross court and it's long. The Ridge Point football players in the stands disagree, but I believe the call was correct. 21 to 10, Austin leads it. With Kennedy serving, it's been Camelot these last few points for the Austin Bulldogs. Off the bench, Soraya Johnson in there for Ridge Point. Kennedy serves right at Johnson, and she serves it long. Soraya came in cold and made a very good decision in leaving that alone. Still, Ridgepoint trails now by 10 points, 21 to 11. Taylor Johnson to serve, keeps her feet on the floor as she does. 
Adele Murray, Welker setting up Murray. She swings and gets it down. 22 to 11. We gotta be feeling good back in peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek. Murray, after getting the spike winner, will serve. She fires it with lots of overspin. Hobbs gonna set up Robinson. Big dig by Kennedy. And there is Beer trying to get one down for Austin at Ridge Point. Returns it back set for Robinson. Dug out by Murray Welker. A little quick set, but Ridge Point handles it. And there is a winner. Ridge Point gets the point and gets back within 10, 22 to 12. Taylor Jory comes off the bench and will serve. She replaces Phoebe Hobbs. Jory lets it go. No spin whatsoever. Kennedy reads it right and sends it back. Beer with a swing. Dug out by Matty Flores. What a great save for Ridge Point. Kennedy Rogers finds the middle. Nobody there. Top spin. Gets it down to the floor. And Ridge Point is within nine. 22 to 13. Jory will serve again. Here comes her serve. Kennedy to Welker setting up Murray. And Flores saves it down the right sideline. Now Kennedy Rogers just bumps it over. Kennedy, Wilker quick set. Ridge Point handles it. Now they go too wide. They have to send it back to the middle. And it's on the dog side. And Murray with a spike that's dug out by Rogers. She sent it all the way over. Now it is Beer. She's blocked. Stays alive on the Austin side. Beer hits it into the net. And the lead is down to eight, 22 to 14. It's like trying to describe the action of a pinball sometimes. Jory ready to serve again. Taylor flies it. Bumped up by Blackburn and a setup for Beer. She goes cross court. Flores digs it out. Now Rogers. Now it is Aaliyah Smith who gets it over. And it's on the Austin side. Murray fires it into the net. Ridge point with three straight. Gets within 22 to 15. Coach Goodman gets up off the bench and has a couple of instructions but doesn't want to take a full timeout. Now Jory serves again. Kennedy gets it up in the air. Wilker setting it up for Beer. She's blocked at the net. It's on the Ridge Point side. Florida sets up Kennedy Rogers. And it's Wilker. And a winner for Wilker. Jousting at the net across from Cameron Coleman and she gets it to go down. Austin needed that point. They had seen a 10 point lead, make an 11 point lead, shrink down to seven. Now they're back up by eight, 23 to 15. And it is Isabella Fernandez serving. Now a big swing and out by Soraya Johnson. That makes it game point, dogs lead 24 to 15. Isabella Fernandez Ready to make it happen for the dogs. Comes in hot with no spin. Kennedy Rogers gets it in the air. Now Jory. Now to Lauren Battle, and she keeps it alive for Ridge Point with the clean winner down the middle, and it's 24 to 16. But Ridge Point still needs eight straight points. Aaliyah Smith. Ready to serve from her right side of the baseline. Here it comes. And it's into the net. Game dogs. They lead 2-1. 25-16 to is the score in game three. So they will be trying to finish it in four when we return on VibeFortBend.com. Tuesday night volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing or we can supply you with resources to join your staff.
Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass and an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics, but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout... Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. Back on Friday, September the 15th. The Bulldogs defeated Ridgepoint in five games. And they were very happy. And if this one doesn't go five games, Austin will again be very happy. So they come out for game four. Ridgepoint looking loose and happy and like they're not in a crisis situation. But I guess it's one of those things where you say, if one can keep his or her head, in this case, her head, if one can keep her head while all those around her are losing their heads, then they don't understand the situation. The Bulldog fans have come out in force, traveling down from the North Point, North Side, I, I should say, of the Fort Bend ISD boundary down here to the hard scrabble streets of Siena. And Welker, the freshman, will serve for Austin to begin game four. If the dogs win this one, they capture the district championship. Kennedy Rogers is blocked. And somehow Ridge, Ridge Point gets it back over. Blackburn sends it to a middle spot, but Kennedy fills it. Now Aaliyah Smith looking for the left corner and gets it. Off the heel of her hand with lots of hot sauce. And Kennedy Rogers will serve. The way she serves, it's almost scary. I mean, she's three inches from our table. There she goes. High toss. And she fires it. Adele Murray digs it out. They're going to give it back to Murray. Her spike attempt is dug out by Flores. Ridgepoint attacks. Aaliyah Smith tries to get it down, but Fernandez saves it. Murray with a spike that goes off in the block of Taylor Johnson and gets down within the boundary point to the Bulldogs. One to one. Ridgepoint started the season with high hopes, and if they lose tonight, they still have hopes. But Austin wants to show that there is a new sheriff in Fort Bend County, Class 6A Volleyball. All right, on that serve, Austin hit it into the net. So the Panthers now lead this game four, two to one. And it is a serve by Taylor Johnson. Skirmish at the net is now on the Ridge Point side. Lauren Battle setting up Aaliyah Smith. She's blocked by Murray, but it stays on the Ridge Point side. Well, Robinson fires away, and it bounces off of Blackburn and over her team's bench. Point to the Panthers. They lead three to one. 
Taylor Johnson to serve. There it goes. Dug out by Blackburn. Welker going to set it up for Murray, and she's blocked by Cameron Coleman. Ridge Point now leads it 4-1. to one. Going to 25 points unless and until we get to the fifth game. Then we go to 15. And the serve by Johnson is out. Unforced error gets the Bulldogs back within 4-2, to two, and Kennedy will serve. She lets it fly. Dug out by Rogers. Now the setup for Robinson. She's blocked by Murray. It stays on the ridge point side. They tap it over quickly. Kennedy back set for Beer off the top of the net. And what happened? The whistle. I think one of the ridge point players touched the net. And Coach Bailey is up to argue with the official on the floor. That's Anthony Sauters, but I believe. Derek Hayward, who's in the tall chair, made the call. Dogs within four to three and serving. Kennedy sends it deep to the middle. Kennedy with two hands keeps it up in the air. Now Aaliyah Smith sends it deep to the middle and Kennedy digs it out. Murray blocked. It's on the Austin side again. Kennedy gonna set up Welker. The freshman sends it deep to the baseline and Kennedy Rogers now Robinson. Saved by the dogs and they get it over. That was miraculous. Beer made that final shot. Robinson blocked at the net. Austin keeps it alive. Wilker sets up Murray. Dug out by Ridgepoint. Rogers gets it back and spikes it down. That brings the Panther fans out of their seats. It is five to three. Ridgepoint leading in this game four, which they must win to prolong the match. Addison Menifee comes in for Lauren Battle. Taylor Jory also came in. I didn't see who she came in for. Sorry about that. Blackburn, now Welker, now Murray. Spike attempt goes long. All right, there. They really care about my laptop. And it's okay. Six to three, Ridgepoint leads. I stopped talking when I kind of panicked. Murray swings. Her last bike attempt was out. Now Cameron Coleman bumps it over. Kennedy there for, for Austin. And now a swing by Blackburn. And she misses the right sideline. The right sideline for us, the left sideline for her. And it was a good call. Ridgepoint leads 7-3. And Taylor Jory serves. Kennedy digs it out. Now Welker's going to set it up for Blackburn, or rather Beer. Now Jory to the middle. Rogers off the top of the net. It stays alive. Beer fires away again. Kennedy digs it out. Now Menifee with her first spike attempt for Ridgepoint. It stays on her side. Now she tries again. She's blocked and Kennedy saves it. Now here is Beer going cross court. She's blocked by Cameron Coleman. Wilker sets it up. And it is going to be... A point to the Panthers. They lead it 8-3. Austin takes a timeout. On that play, Sahasra Votatella, I guess she hit it out of bounds clean. Uh, it looked like maybe it had hit a ridge point fingertip, but it's a, it's a ridge point point because it did not hit a ridge point fingertip. And we'll be back. It's 8-3. Ridge point trying to save game four and the match. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Ridge Point came out of the timeout, back onto the floor a lot quicker than the Dogs did. They lead 8-3. to three. They're trying to force a fifth game. Taylor Jory serves. Kennedy digs it out. And they didn't handle that well. Three hits, and it didn't come close to getting the ball back over the net. So now Ridge Point leads 9-3. to three. Taylor Jory 
punishing the ball before she sends it on its way. Dug out nicely by Beer. Somehow Austin got it over. Now Menifee with a big swing and she's blocked by Murray. Point to the dogs, gets them within nine to four. I think the scoreboard's wrong. Should be nine to four. And now there's a discussion between Kennedy Rogers, captain for Ridgepoint, and the two officials, Derek Hayward and Anthony Sauters, are discussing something together. The scoreboard still says 9-3, and it's going to stay that way because the two thumbs up means it's a do-over. We've had three do-overs tonight. All right. Nobody knew what happened. 9-3, 9-3 is the Ridgepoint lead, and Taylor Jory will serve when the official says she can. Adele Murray was pleading her case to Mr. Hayward in the tall chair, but it's still a do-over. Jory serves. Kennedy bumps it up. Now it's Welker, back set for Murray. Off Ridgepoint, fingertips, but they keep it alive. Now Aaliyah Smith. Hits one off Austin fingertips, and it goes off of the fists of Botatella. Out of bounds, and another point to the Panthers. They lead 10-3. Taylor Jory ready to let it fly again. Again, it's to Kennedy in the deep middle. Welker is going to set up beer, and that is out. I thought it was good. But they said out. That is the first really clean look that Kylie Beer has had. 11 to 3 Ridgepoint leads. Again, it's Jory serving to Kennedy. Now Murray fires away with a spike. They overset it, and Murray puts it away. Another point to the Dogs, but now when they get the serve back, they're down by 7. It's 11 to 4. And Adele Murray will be serving. And Cameron Coleman, okay, uh, Cameron Coleman and Addison Menifee were lined up on the right side of the net, and Coach Bailey said, you need to be on the left side. Okay, we've had a few uh, unexplained delays. Now Murray ready to serve. With her team down 11 to 4, but trying to put this away in four games. Menifee taps it over to the left hand. Blackburn, now Beer, off of Ridgepoint fingertips. And Rogers with a dig that goes all the way to the Raptors, but it was two hits on the Ridgepoint side. Point to the Dogs. They get within 11 to 5. Murray serves. Top spin, dug out by Flores, now Menifee from the left pole gets it down in the middle beyond a diving Kennedy Ridgepoint gets the 7 point lead back and now will serve again and for the first time it's Mariah Guignard playing her last home district match and she sends her serve deep, Kennedy up in the air now Welker now Beer off Ridgepoint hands it's on the Austin side. Beer sends it over. Now Ridgepoint attacking. And Kennedy Rogers sends a wild pitch way beyond the boundary on the right sideline. Oh, that was crazy. That almost injured someone in the stance. She hits it hard. 12-6. to six, Austin trails and now serving with Isabella Fernandez. Here it comes. Lots of topspin. Dug out by Gwynyard. Now Menifee with a hard spike attempt, but it is blocked. Either Blackburn or Welker or both of them got the block. And it's now a five-point game here in game four, and if Austin wins this one, they win the match. 
Fernandez serves, and it is good. Austin within 12 to eight. Ridgepoint just let it go, thought it would be long, and it barely clipped the line, but it did land legally. Fernandez moves a little bit to her right, adjusting the point from the origin of the serve. Rogers gonna get it back, but she can't spike it. She can just bump it over. Now it's Kennedy, Welker, Blackburn, but dug out by Flores. Ridgepoint attacking again. Kennedy Rogers can't spike it, just bumps it. Now it's Welker, tries to tap it over, and she is denied Kennedy Rogers. Kennedy Rogers knew what she was up to. She anticipated the move, the quick set to the middle, and she tapped it down with a flick of the wrist. Ridgepoint now leads 13 to eight, gets the serve back. Maddie Flores in the gray libero jersey, lets it fly. Murray, now Blackburn, that's a winner down the right sideline. Blackburn gets the dogs within 13 to nine. Now coming off the bench, it's Liasha Karani serving for the dogs. Flores had to go to her knees and just save it. Now it's on the Austin side and it gets down. It rattles between Karani and Maybelline Garcia. Coach Goodman is up and she has a beef with one of the officials. She's saying that the official on the floor, Anthony Souders, made a call and that the official in the tall chair ignored it. Coach Goodman is very adamant. She is not going to sit down without being heard. And now Mr. Souders is going over to talk to Derek Hayward. If the score holds, it's 13 to nine Ridgepoint. Ridgepoint fans like the way this was uh, adjudicated in the end. It's 14 to nine. And now Lauren Battle serves. Adele Murray bumps it up. Now a set up for Blackburn. And it's a winner for Austin. Blackburn fired away. Ridgepoint blocked it, but it fell on the Panthers' side of the net. It's 14 to 10. Austin, true to their bulldog name, will not go away. Now Ridgepoint trying to send it back. Kennedy to Rogers with a big swing. Kennedy digs it out. Now it is Blackburn. She's blocked and it gets down on the Ridgepoint side. Another point for Austin. They get within 14 to 11. Welker will serve. Here it comes. No spin whatsoever. Rogers bumps it up. She gets it back. Big swing. No, she takes something off of it. And it's a winner for Ridgepoint. Austin's defense bracing for the big swing. But it ended up being just a little tap. 15 to 11 Ridgepoint leads. Kenny to Rogers ready to serve again. Spinning the ball. And up it goes about 15 feet. And she serves it long. A break for the Bulldogs. They're within three again, 15 to 12. Kylie Beer comes in and Isabella Fernandez sits down. And a serve into the net. That hurts the dog's cause. And now they will turn to the sophomore Taylor Johnson. There goes her serve. Bumped up by Blackburn. Welker is setting up Murray. A whistle, and it's a point to the Panthers. I'm not sure what the violation is. But Ridgepoint leads by 5, 17 to 12. There goes Taylor Johnson's serve. Bumped up by Blackburn. Skirmish at the net. Murray taps it over. Now it's on the Ridgepoint side. Robinson fires one, and it's down. Oh, that was high velocity. There aren't too many high school reflexes who could have done anything with that one. It's 18 to 12. Ridgepoint has its biggest lead in this game four, I think. Now they might have been up seven at one point. Anyway, 
They're up by six, 18 to 12, and the dogs want a timeout. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Taylor Johnson is ready to serve from the end closest to us. The south end, and there goes her serve. She serves it into the net. I guess the timeout did its service. Just like you ice a kicker in football, sometimes you make a server think about it. You just get a little out of rhythm. That gets Austin within 18 to 13 in this fourth game. If Austin wins it, they win the match and the district championship. Kennedy will serve. Here it comes. Kennedy Rogers sends it up. Now Lauren Battle. Now Aaliyah Smith with a big swing and a clean winner down inside the right sideline. Ridge Point gets the six-point lead back. Jory and Menifee come in. Robinson and Battle go out for the Panthers. And Jory will serve. There it goes. Bumped up by Blackburn. Welker, now Kennedy just sends it over. Now Rogers. Now Cameron Coleman, was it wide? No, it was good on the left sideline. She mishit it. She was lucky. It stayed on the line. 20 to 13, Ridgepoint leads game four. Kennedy digs out the serve. Now Wilker, now Murray, blocked and down. Point to the Panthers, Cameron Coleman gets it done. A textbook block and it's 21 to 13. And that is the Panthers' biggest lead in this game four. Jory, there goes her serve. And Blackburn mishit it on the dig. It went sideways and out of bounds. Nine point lead for Ridge Point. It's 22 to 13. Taylor Jory, what's your story? Could it be a 10 point lead? There goes her serve. Bumped up by Blackburn. Wilker setting it up for Murray. And Kennedy keeps it in the air on the Ridge Point side. Cameron Coleman taps it over. Now Austin attacks. Beer, she's blocked at the net, stays on the Ridge Point side. Jory setting up Rogers, sends it deep to the middle, dug out by Austin. Kennedy now for Beer, sends it deep to the middle. Rogers keeps it in the air again. Jory quick set, saved by Kennedy. And Murray with the winner for the Dogs. There won't be a 10 point lead, it's 22 to 14. And Austin gets the serve back. They need to go on a service run or they're gonna be in a fifth game on Ridge Point's home court. Kennedy Rogers digs out the Adele Murray serve. Menifee cannot get it down. Now Austin will attack. Bumped over by Murray. Dug out by Rogers. Ridge Point attacks. Whistle. Two hits on the Ridge Point side. And the point goes to Austin. They're within seven. 22 to 15. So Murray will serve again. Here it comes. Over the net. Bumped up by Maddie Flores. Jory sets up Menifee. Taps with the left hand. She hit the red and white boundary pole. So it's out. Another point to the dogs. 22 to 16. Maybe this is that service run they so badly need. Adele Murray serving from the middle of the baseline. Here it comes. Flores digs it out. Now Jory sets it up for Menifee. There's a winner. The kill by Addison Menifee makes it 23 to 16. And Aaliyah Smith will take her turn serving. Actually, she won't. She is 
going to take the bench, go to the bench, and it's Mariah Guignard who will serve. Ridge Point two points away from forcing a fifth game. Kennedy near the baseline, digs it out. Now Murray, now Beer sends it over. Ridge Point will now attack. There is Kennedy Rogers. She is blocked, but it goes out of bounds. Point Panthers. You heard that sound. That's the sound of a Kennedy, Kennedy Rogers spike and a clean block on the other side. Welker could not keep it within the boundary. Now it's game point, 24 to 16. Welker sets it up for Murray, sends it deep. Gwynyard keeps it alive. Now Menifee from the right side, and it is off of Blackburn's fist, so it's a Panther point, and they capture game four. 25 to 16, the same score by which Austin won game three. And we are going to the fifth game. It doesn't get any better than this. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on VibeFortBend.com, presented by the Volleyball School. We're the Volleyball School with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass in an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics, but for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, so here are the scores so far. As these two teams have battled even after four games, Austin beat Ridgepoint in the first game, 25-14. Ridgepoint came back to win the second one, 25-22. Then Austin won game three, 25-16. And Ridgepoint won game four by a 25-16 score. So here we go, but we're not going to 25. We are going to 15. First team to 15 with a lead of at least two will capture this match and the district championship. I didn't really like the facial expressions of the Austin Bulldogs as they switched benches after that fourth game. They looked a little down, but now they look like they're feeling good about themselves, but so too do the Ridgepoint Panthers. It's a shame one of these teams has to lose. It's been fantastic so far and the dynamic of game five means that 
you can't, you just don't have the luxury of making a combat, uh, comeback that takes a while. It really helps if you get out front early. Lauren Battle serves first for Ridge Point. Here it comes. Bumped up by Adele Murray. Wilker's going to set it up for Blackburn. And that's blocked by Ridge Point. Point Panthers. Awesome job by Jaden Robinson for the first point of this game five. Another serve by Battle, bumped up by Murray. Welker's gonna set it up for Murray and it stays on the Austin side of the net. It hit the tape, kinda hung there. We wondered would it fall on the Ridge Point side, but it stayed on the Austin side and the dogs are down two to nothing. Lauren Battle serves again, bumped up by Murray. Now Welker, now Blackburn, blocked! Another Ridge Point point. And again, it is the tall one, Jaden Robinson. Three to nothing. And if the Panthers get the next point, you might see Coach Kristen Goodman of Austin take a timeout. Battle serves, but there's a break for Austin. It's into the net. Dogs trailing three to one, and now the freshman Welker will serve. She lets it fly, no spin, bumped up by Aaliyah Smith. Now it's Kennedy Rogers with a big swing and it stays on the Ridge Point side. Great block by the dogs. Now it is Blackburn setting up Wilker, setting up Murray for the kill. And that gets the dogs within three to two. Austin responding very nicely after falling behind three to nothing. And this point's critical. It's so much difference between 3-3 and being down 4-2 when you're only going to 15. Welker's serve is to the middle. Now there's a big swing by Kennedy Rogers and it's out. Point Austin. We're all even at three in a match that is all even at two games each. There's an electric atmosphere inside the Ridge Point gym. Welker serves again, right sideline, saved by Kennedy Rogers. Now a big swing, Jaden Robinson, that's a kill. She went at a very shallow angle from the right sideline to our right to the one to our left. Pinpoint accuracy, 4-3 Ridge Point. They get the serve back and I'm obstructed, I can't see who's serving. Okay, it's Kennedy Rogers. Will she go with the really high toss? She does. Dug out by Fernandez. Now Wilker, now Blackburn taps it over. Ridge Point keeps it alive. Now the Panthers attack. Aaliyah Smith is blocked, but it goes out of bounds. Point Panthers. They lead 5-3. There's always that chance Kennedy Rogers with her wild serve could miss. High toss, off the top of the tape. Wilker gets it up in the air for Murray. She bangs it, but it's long. The set was too far behind her head and she couldn't get on top of the ball. And it's a three point lead again for Ridge Point, six to three. Rogers to serve again. And it's good. Austin let it go, but it had the sinking action, and now it's a 7-3 lead for Ridge Point. Timeout, Bulldogs. We'll be back on FightFortBend.com. We're the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and the newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to help you get on the top club and school teams and have fun while doing it. The Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. All right, 
Hopefully, Coach Kristen Goodman had just the right words for her team when they took that time out there, down 7-3. to three. They don't want to let this get away from them. Still Kennedy Rogers serving. Here's the very high toss, and here it comes. Bumped up by Fernandez. Now Wilker, now Murray off the block. Ridgepoint keeps it off the floor. Now from the middle, it's Kennedy Rogers, and it's down inside the baseline. What a play. Eight to three. Ridgepoint leads, and Rogers continues serving. High toss. Here comes her serve, and there it goes into the net. Eight to four. Austin's got to come up with a nice little service run here, and it's Bailey Blackburn ready to fire. There it goes. Flores bumps it up for Ridgepoint. Now a setup for Aaliyah Smith, and there's another kill. Ridgepoint takes a 9-4 lead. The Panthers are doing everything right here in the fifth game. You're going to 15. Here is Taylor Johnson serving. Kennedy bumps it up. Now Wilker. Now it's Blackburn, and there's the winner. A nice shallow cross-court shot. Glancing off of a block attempt and down. Austin gets within 9-5, to five and Gabby Kennedy will serve. There it goes, bumped up by Rogers. Now a setup for Aaliyah Smith from beyond the sideline, and that spike is down. Every spike attempt that Ridgepoint has made has just been precise. And they lead 10 to five. Taylor Jory will now take over the serving duties. Right in front of all those senior night pictures. And a timeout is taken. And I'm not sure if it was uh, Ridgepoint or Austin, but we'll take it with them. 10 to 5, Ridgepoint trying to capture this in five sets. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Hit the road with confidence and save big. Clear vision ahead. Buy one wiper blade and get the second one free. Smooth riders, bigger savings. Get $100 off when you purchase and install four struts and shocks. Stay on the right path. Free alignment with the purchase of four selected tires, installation, and road hazard. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. The Bulldog faithful as, is at full throat, even though their team is down 10-5. to 5. Taylor Jory serves, bumped up by Blackburn. Welker going to back set for Murray. She sends it to the baseline. It's off the rafters, and it hits Kennedy Rogers twice. She tried to dig and successfully hit it up, but all the way to the rafters, and when it came back down, it hit her right in the tummy. So that's two hits in a row. 10-6, to six, Austin trails, and now Murray serves. Takes something off of it, bumped by Rogers. Aaliyah Smith throws cross court off the hands of Kennedy and a point for the Panthers. It's 11 to 6. The football players in this look at me world are coming out of the stands with every point now. Gwyn Yard comes off the bench. The left-hander serves for Ridgepoint, bumped up by Kennedy. Wilker's going to set it up for Blackburn. She gets the winner. It is blocked by Cameron Coleman and or Addison Menifee, but it goes out of bounds, so that point goes to the Dogs. They trail 11-7. to seven. Remember, we're going to 15. And it's Isabella Fernandez. She fires her serve. Rogers bumps it up. And now Cameron Coleman gets the winner. A clean winner past the diving Fernandez. 
and it's 12 to 7. Ridgepoint three points away from capturing the District 26A championship. Maddie Flores just gets it over. Murray now Welker, now Blackburn. She gets a winner. 12 to 8. Austin looking good, but they can't just keep trading points. They're down by four. And the server is now Liasha Karani. Here goes her serve. It's a good one. Now Jory is going to set up Rogers. She just has to tap it over. Murray now Welker, now Blackburn. Taps it to an open spot. Winner for the Austin Bulldogs. And it's 12 to 9. They trail by three. Karani, looking very calm, goes back to the baseline and will serve again. There it goes. It's deep middle. Now Jory's going to set it up for Rogers, and her spike is a winner. Glancing blow off of the block attempt by Maybelline Garcia. It's 13 to 9. Ridge Point is two points away from a district title. Now it's Lauren Battle to serve. Here comes her serve. Murray bumps it up. Welker setting up Blackburn. Can he do Rogers there on the defense for Ridge Point? Rogers gets it back, fires, and and Coach Goodman is saying that it was out. But it's a point to the Panthers instead. It is 14 to 9, and here we go with match point. 14 points on the board for Ridge Point, 14 on the jersey of Lauren Battle. Here comes her serve. Murray bumps it. Now Kennedy, it's Blackburn. Ridge Point keeps it in the air. Now Rogers, she hits it into the net. The dogs are still alive. It's 14 to 10. And now Welker will serve. The dogs need four straight points to get this into the deuce mode. But first, a timeout. Ridge Point will take it with them. VibeFortBend.com. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass in an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics. But for savings. Now, if you all take a hand out. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new. You know, we couldn't do that broadcast without Xfinity. Sorry to kill their ad in the middle, but the players are back on the floor, and here we go. Austin trying to save another match point. Welker sends it to Rogers. And there's a skirmish at the net, and it's won by Adele Murray of Austin. The dogs are still alive. It is 14 to 11. Welker will serve again. There it goes. Rogers gets it up there with two hands. Now it's back to Kennedy. Off the block. It's a winner for Rogers, and Rich Point wins. The girls celebrate standing up. The boys slide onto the floor. Somebody has set off a confetti gun twice. Ridge Point wins it 15 to 11. What a great battle. One of those matches you hate to see someone lose. The Bulldog girls were fantastic. They fought all the way to the end. But Ridge Point gets the victory in five very difficult sets. They were down two sets to one. And they had to win game three, uh, game four rather, and then game five. Just to keep this thing alive. And they are celebrating what a wonderful senior night. Ridge Point now improves to 14-1 and one in district and the district title is theirs. The Bulldogs fall to 11 and 3 in district play, but they're the very solid second seed in District 26A volleyball. 
We will take a timeout, and I'll see if I can get us a post-game guest. I don't know that we can, because I think they might just head to the locker room. This is Roger Smith on VibeFordBend.com. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vibe View program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vibe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vibe Campus today. Settle down, class. Colin, you're up. My fellow students, for today's show and tell, I present to you my phone. It's made with glass and an array of precious metals I can't pronounce. <coughs> it's powered by Xfinity Mobile, so it's fast. Anyway, with Xfinity Mobile, we save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like being in a secret club that's open to everyone, like mathletes or robotics. But for savings. Now, if you all take a handout. Colin, what are these? I'm quizzing the class on the material. Now through December 21st, new customers can get a free line of unlimited mobile plus free text and calling to Mexico and Canada when you get 400 megabit Xfinity Internet. It's all included for just $55 a month for two years with no annual contract and Wi-Fi equipment included. Call, click, or visit a store to switch today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to Internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. All right, on this senior night, we chose to set up at the, I guess it's the south end of the gym here at Ridgepoint. And the one disadvantage of that is that the players go the other way when the match is over. If we're down at the other end, then the players walk right past us. And I could have gotten us a post-game guest, but it was not to be, but that's okay. This match speaks for itself. Great win for Ridgepoint great effort by these Austin Bulldogs. The final scores Ridgepoint wins the match 14-25 25-22 16-25 25-16 and 15-11 Glad you were with us. This was a classic. An instant classic I think I'm going to say I just did. So for Daniel Garrigan, Merle Bertrand Suna Venkat, Bob McKay, Patrick Kinnick, everyone who's a part of VibeFortMen.com we thank you for being with us. Congratulations, Ridgepoint, but congratulations, Austin. You two are in the playoffs. So good night, everybody, from the hard scrabble streets of Siena, and we'll talk to you on Thursday night when we bring you the football game from Hall Stadium between Willow Ridge and Marshall. Good night from all of us here at vibefortmen.com, and God bless.